Thanks so much for visiting Teen and Buddy on YouTube. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Welcome back to Tea and a Buddy. It's a scary podcast. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Tea and a Buddy podcast. I'm Dominic. And I'm Erica. And as you might have guessed, this is going to be our top, top three scary films, isn't it? Yes. Films. Yeah. In honor uh, of Halloween. Because of ha- Halloween. What, it's today. It's today. It's not today. It's tomorrow. It's not tomorrow. Is it, it's, the other, it's the other day. It's Saturday. It was yesterday. It's Saturday. <laughs> Saturday night's all yes. right. And apparently you can't go trick-or-treating, so you're in here listening to us. Yeah. Because we are the only medium left now. Yeah. No, you can't watch TV. I said, yeah. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> you yeah. said, yeah. Like, yeah. We're the only ones who, who are like, providing yeah. entertainment to everybody in the world now. <laughs> Especially in America. America Poor just sits you. sits by their laptops <laughs> all night saying, Tea and a Buddy podcast is going to be a good one today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Here oh, we go. Jeez. Okay. Um, yeah, scary films. Yeah. Not really my genre. I mean, slasher, horror... What was it? Thriller, I guess you'd say. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not like easily scared, shall we say? Although, <laughs> although what? I forced him to watch Halloween with me the other night, yes. and you did jump, and we were watching it, and it went, <laughs> <laughs> and you jumped. So yeah. You were scared. Yes, I was very scared. I mean, that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, like, just the kind of, like, you know... I mean, that's... Uh, you know, like, it's kind of like... Um, it startles you it rather startles, than scares you. It startles. It's like, oh, oh it's going to yeah. get me. Oh, you know, I'm not that kind of person. I mean, I mean, I know there's people out there that enjoy a good gory slasher fic, you know, with all those, like, you know... Yeah, I don't know why. I'm not like, into them for that for that reason. I mean, like, you know, the, the people... It's just like, you know, like Saw, I guess you'd call that a slasher. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's a slasher. How, uh, Psycho was, like, apparently the the first kind of, like, slasher, slasher film. flick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Saw, I would say that was more of, like, a psychological... A psychological, yeah. Yeah. I mean, although it was, it was gory from what I can remember. Yeah, I'm just not, I just don't really see the appeal. I mean, I I guess I'm more into kind of like maybe romantic comedies, maybe action adventure films. Yeah. Horror, the horror genre, it's just never really vampires, you I know. I was never. Scary stuff. It's not really my scene, you know. I was not really my bag, mate. I was never really into horror. Like, I never got into monster flicks. You know uh, what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Like I never really Frankenstein. So I was and definitely all that, more yeah. into like the more realist, real realistic in quotation marks. Realistic, mate. Like someone's gonna get you, kind of thing. You someone's know? gonna get yeah. you. Like a sla- someone's sl- gonna slasher. get you. But I'm definitely not in. Well, I don't know if, if I could consider myself into them now. Anyway, but um, definitely when I was like in high school, I guess. I went through a period where I was into um, scary movies, you know, what, whatever. Scream and all that. Yeah. I, I mean, that's kind of like a funny film, though, isn't it? Those, it's like, those it's, were it's very like it's clever. parody. We'll, we'll get yeah. into them, but yeah. um, there was a period where, where I was into scary movies. Um, not so much anymore. I think my genre now, if, I, if someone asked me what's my favorite genre, I'd probably say period dramas. <laughs> I yes, def- I will take loves the period dramas. Any period, it does not matter as long as it's not now. I- I'm there. I'm watching it. Well, yeah. <laughs> I think it has to be like '60s and earlier. earlier. Yeah. yeah, '70s, '80s, '90s. Yeah, it that's doesn't true. really it doesn't so really interest much. you. Although we, I mean, we watch um, Stranger Things. And that's yeah, that's 80s. kind of a, yeah, that's a period drama, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's the correct genre for that, but, um, but yeah, I nostalgia. Know. And I definitely yeah. was never into slasher films or like thriller type things for the gore, the gore, yeah. 
the gore yeah. can just go. I'm in Get out of suspense. it. Suspense. Suspense. You, you know what I mean? Suspense. Yeah. That's sus- what it's called. The suspense is what is what I get in The here. suspense. <laughs> I, I mean, th- I guess so. Yeah, I mean, because I, I think it builds your adrenaline. It's a little bit of the same type of feeling that, like, like yeah, I would imagine jumping out of a plane or you know bungee jumping or something like that gives you exhilaration. Yeah, yeah that some, exhilaration gets yeah. your heart pumping. You oh. know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know, I, I mean, I always refer to the the first episode of the last season of Game of Thrones. For you, you know, like my heart, my heart is going. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, what's yeah. going to happen? Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and yeah, that that kind of thing. That's what I like. Um, yeah. I mean, we've got a top three. So before we get yeah, before started, we get into that, yeah, let us know what your top three favorite scary movies are. Even if you're like me and you're not, or, or like Dominic, so you're not really super. Oh god, there's so many and there's so many of like one franchise like halloween has like there's like six movies isn't it yeah so i wonder if you pick like the whole franchise or if there's one specific one out of out of all of them you know yeah because yeah i think there's a load of saw movies now too oh yes yeah yeah final destination yeah 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 uh, there was scream it's like people get into those things like zo- like zombie things i think there's well they made a lot of money and then it's just like oh okay we'll just make another one and it's just kind of like it's I don't know, it's very kind of like plot light, if you want to, if I, if I can say, you know, if I say that, you know. Yeah. It's like there's not much of a plot to these films. Oh, know. girl lives in house, guy li- lives in house, and someone's trying to get them or something weird's happening. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, what is it? It's like, There's not a oh. lot of, I mean, there's a plot. I, don't, I think that's. There's not a there's not a lot of character development. Not a lot of character development. That's it. That's the one. But at the end of the well, there's plot, but it's like it's it's very kind of a weak one. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same for every one of them. You know, Halloween. It was kind of like, oh, this guy's a mental case and he's escaped and he's coming to get you all. Yeah. And it's like. <laughs> he's got, and it's obviously this girl he's I, gonna I mean, get. You know, it's really, gonna, he's, is, he's trying to get Jamie Lee Curtis, and he doesn't get her. So we'll, he'll really probably get her in the a, next film. This is a or wide maybe, genre. Yeah. Like we could have, we could have broken this up into favorite, yeah. three favorite thrillers, three favorite um, slasher films, three favorite monster films. Yeah. I also just now, as you were talking, thought. If we had thought ahead of time, we could have made this a two-parter. Like, what are your three Halloween favorite two. ones? And then and then what are the three worst ones you've ever seen? Oh, Because there's, there's, there are there's some, some terrible, scary movies. Well, I mean, a lot of them were like, you know, there was no budget to them. Well, really. yeah, the early ones. The early yeah. ones, you know, like the traditional horror films. Um. You know, like, but there's ones that there's, they're obviously all cult classics there's now. There's one that I cannot. Like Halloween's a cult classic. I'm thinking now um, about one with Keanu Reeves. Oh, jeez, what was it? Oh my god, it was terrible. It was so bad. A, the Matrix scary, was no. <laughs> some scary movie with him in. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. let's get onto the list. You you do your. Top I'll do three mine because I I kind of had to kind of come up with stuff that I'd seen as a kid. Oh, anyway, let us know. Let us yeah, know let on us know. social media yeah. your three favorites. Let movies. us know. We're just curious. We yeah. love to know. Yeah. Uh, these are these are the ones that I saw as a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, the Amityville Horror from 1979. That became another franchise. I think it was Amityville 2. And, uh, that the, was based on a book. It was based on a book, but apparently it was based on a real... Real experience. Experience, yeah. yeah. So that was kind of like... That That was one that I remember seeing as a kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, a young couple purchases a home and it's haunted by like supernatural pol- force, poltergeist forces. Oh, yeah. And it's it's... The alleged experiences of the Lutz family who bought a new home in Amityville, New York, where a mass murder had been committed the year before. Yeah. So, you know, there was a mass murder there and, you know, the ghosts are still haunting it. So, you know, it's like, oh, you know, we've got to get out of this house. And I found that, you know, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, I like that one. I've never seen it. And yeah, so I I, I, I think I've only seen the first film. I had the book that uh, I think had used to belong to my mom or I don't know how I ended up having it, but I had some friends over one night 
when I was like in high school and one of them took it. One of them was like, can I borrow this book? And they never returned it. So I never got to read it. And they died. It was, they? <laughs> they were, they it was were, like, yeah. yeah, you know how someone's had something for so long. It's a bit awkward then to go, oh, can I get that back? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I get that back? <laughs> no. Yeah. It's just, you know, you feel awkward. So yeah, I don't know. I never, I, I had just had that on my bookshelf in my like list of books that, you know, I needed to read and I hadn't gotten to it yet. And they borrowed mm. it because I let them borrow it because, you know, I, I hadn't read it yet and never got it back. Mm. I never seen that movie. But now apparently I need to see it if you, if it's on your list of scariest ones. Yes. <laughs> I think I mean, my mom said it's pretty scary. Yeah, yeah it's 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 pretty cool. Yeah, I yeah. like it. It's, 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 it's a cool. It's like it's pretty scary. Yeah. Um, the next one, Fright Night. I saw this as a kid too. I've seen that either. I mean, these all came on around Halloween. You know, I remember the <laughs> yeah. Halloween of Fright Night. You know. Yeah. Uh, it's from 1985. Um, there's like this 17 year old kid who's a fan of horror films. Yeah. And he's a fan of this TV show that's fronted by, like, a vampire hunter called Fright Night. Oh, yeah. And he discovers next his next-door neighbor is an actual vampire. Oh, and, yeah. And you know, he's biting all the kids at school, and he's got all these <laughs> victims, and they're turning into vampires and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, and it, I thought, oh, it's 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 pretty cool, you know. Mm. You know. I mean, I keep calling it, calling it cool, because really it was... You know, I, I don't really find that kind of stuff scary. Yeah. For some weird reason, you know, it's just like it's just like oh, you know, I'm I'm not really scared of vampires or anything like that. As a kid, I was never like, you know, my friends were always oh, you should watch the Amateurville. Oh, you should watch. Oh, okay, I'll watch it. Okay, yeah, I watched it. It was good. You know. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, um, I don't I know. Went, you know, I was I into other things. You know, I, was I like, went through a vampire phase. Like I was very into Bram Stoker's yeah. Dracula, the book, and then the um, oh, Keanu Reeves is in that one actually. Keanu Reeves, <laughs> um, the film, and oh god, what's his name? Gary Old, Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. Yeah, yeah, he was Dracula in that. It was so good. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, Dracula. He looks Gary so Oldman. Um, when he's young, not when he's old. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you've seen that film, you know what I'm talking about. And you know talking Buffy about. the Vampire Slayer oh, was my so Lord. super. I was yeah, super into I remember. That. I mean, I remember all the girls at school were Angel, into that. Angel, then, then the spin off was Angel. Are... Friends yeah. who were really into Buffy the Vampire Slayer and thought they were slain vampires and all that kind of stuff. I remember that. I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was super into all of that. Huh. Okay. I've never heard of Fright Night. I've never seen that. I think, like they did, I think they I did. I think they did a night at Fright Night 2 and I think they did a was remake. Was it meant to be like scary or was it like more for kids type of thing? It was, meant just... to be, it was meant to be scary, I oh, think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. It's like a cult classic again. You know, all these, all these like, you know, like they, they made like a... Um, parody of Scream called Scary Movie oh, and they yeah. made that a, a franchise yeah it's like <laughs> yes I don't really see the appeal of it to like ju generate more movies because it's the same thing over and over again I mean I guess you could say that about any movie yeah but it's like are you really that invested in the characters you know yeah 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 um the last one on my list is The Exorcist oh yeah The Exorcist yeah The Exorcist yeah, yeah. The Exorcist. The Exorcist. How was I saying it? The Exorcist. The Exorcist. Yeah. Exorcist. Yeah, that's what it's. That's what it's called. <laughs> I can't remember the exorcism. You know. Exorcism. Like exercise. <laughs> uh, exercising. Oh my God! You've been in Texas too long. Exercising. <laughs> Um, I'm exercising. Yeah, this is a classic. It's a, a classic. It's probably the the most well known because. Yeah. I remember, you know, that was, it's very, very powerful yeah. imagery in that, you know. You know what? I don't know if I've ever seen what? it. What? Beginning to end. I got the DVD. That's, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got, that's probably the only horror film I have on that's DVD. That's weird. How can someone who's like, oh, I don't like scary movies. Oh, let me buy the I just, For some <laughs> reason, I thought it was, it was good. <laughs> So I thought, oh, that's a good, that's a good film. You know, the way they, they shot it, it was yeah. very like, it was made in 1973. Um, you know, there's a possessed child, Linda Blair, played by Linda Blair. Yeah. And there's two priests and they perform an exorcism. Mm -hmm. And of course, Mike, Mike Oldfield's Tubular Bells is the theme, you know. Yeah. Ding, 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 the 
classic dun, scene dun, dun, in dun, it dun, where dun, her head dun. spins around and yes. she <laughs> spews bile. But that that being said, I mean, honorary mention has to go to The Shining. I really like that film, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a good one. That's another classic. Yeah. yeah. The Shining and The Exorcist are probably my two favorites. Yeah. The end. <laughs> I mean, I have, I, I mean, I've got Fright Night, and I, I probably replace Fright Night with The Shining, actually, because Fright Night's, you know, it's just something I remember. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, sometimes that's what what makes the list, though. It's just the, the original nineteen eighty version know? with Jack Nicholson, obviously. You know? It's just whatever, whatever you associate it for. Yeah, I mean, we're not. We're not movie critics here. It's just like we're not trying to make like we're the, Siskel and Ebert. That's what we we're are. Not, we're not trying to make like the ultimate list of the absolute best made, you know, horror films or scary movies or whatever. Yes, you know? it's yes. just like yeah, just our favorites, our personal favorites for whatever reason that is. Um, yeah, that's so funny that you would go by The Exorcist. I, oh, well, I, yeah, yeah, I definitely got it myself yeah. you know i didn't get given it or anything you know get given it you know? <laughs> yeah that's my texas slang coming through right there i didn't get given it i didn't get given it <laughs> no i didn't um yeah so that's your list that's my list yeah uh feel free to critique it as you wish yeah. um do you agree with dominic do you agree three with favorites? my top three <laughs> favorites do you like them Mine are Let going. Know. Mine are going to be in no particular order, because I don't really think I can rank them. And these are just sort of the first three that came to mind. Yeah. So uh, take that for what it's worth. <laughs> you know, I'm. It's possible that it could change if I put. You know. Um, more any, thought into any it. more thought into it but. well yeah like just right now i was like oh the shining why didn't i put that on the list <laughs> yeah could have replaced fright night with that because you know fright night was just something i saw as a kid and it was like oh it was quite good you know yeah um mm. okay so my first one is psycho psycho because you can't really beat psycho you know no you can't it's really, like can it's you? alfred hitchcock it's in black and white it's like it's just eerie and weird it's a it's a pretty quiet film really norman bates yeah he's the classic yeah <laughs> it's pretty quiet and really they don't show a lot in it uh, as far as like violence or any of that goes. well no i know. mean for the time it was very very like oh this is oh, too wow. much 1960 movie that, goers you just know. the fact that she's in the shower and oh we got a, a flash of you know, belly button or something. Well, she showed <laughs> like, her belly button. You know, the people in those she's days in were the shower. Still... We know she's naked. You know yeah. what I mean? That was what it was about. It was very much she was in the shower. You know, you got a flash of belly button or whatever. Yeah. But in those days, it was still a it was still a scandal to show an a, for a woman to show her ankles. <laughs> in the sixties, nineteen sixty, it was. <laughs> yes, it was. It's like if a woman was showing her ankles, she was, oh, there's something going on That's here. That's a Victorian era. No, it wasn't. It was actually, it was uh, before that. Georgian era, I think. <laughs> so yeah, 1960s. But, but I mean, I'm talking about over here too, where everything is like 200 years behind the times. <laughs> oh, oh, fighting talk. Oh, fighting talk. <laughs> yeah. Get your six shooter Shevins up there, partner. Six shooter Shevins. <laughs> God. That's what you say. Who are you? Get out. Ah! Hey, that. <laughs> but yeah, Rabbit. this is another. If you follow us on social media, you'll know that I was watching this again the other night. Um, You know, during Halloween, I like to watch the scary movies that come on. Just whatever. Like, we don't really own any scary movies that I can think of. Um, Like, thriller type films maybe uh we yeah. own the entire sex in the city series that's a scary we, movie <laughs> it is kind of scary actually um, carrie bradshaw harry potter carrie! there you go carrie <laughs> carrie oh, bradshaw yeah. Ca carrie bradshaw yeah that she was named carrie's, after carrie the psycho carrie's one that yeah carrie's one that i've seen that one i, I found i actually found carrie boring i've seen it i never really got super into it i tried to watch apparently they made a remake with julianne moore like I guess not that many years ago. And what's that name? What's that girl's name? Chloe um, Moretz. Oh, I have no Maybe idea. Something. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, that was on television the other night. Eh, I was I was working <laughs> while it was on, so I wasn't paying that much attention. But I was just like, I saw Carrie, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'll watch this. I haven't seen it in years. And then it was like a remake. Whatever. Um, anyway, Psycho. Yeah, Psycho's a classic. You can't beat it. The shower scene. Um, but again, you just see the knife coming down. You don't ever see the knife go into her. No, you, you see the blood. You see some blood, like, in the, in the shower. And, I mean, and it looks black shower. because it's in black and white anyway, so. Yeah. But that's about as violent as it really gets. You don't... Yeah. Most of it is more, like, just... Thematic. Psychological. Yeah. Like, you know, just what you can imagine, yeah. you know, is happening. It's and, like, oh, she got and, slashed. And then he does such a great job at just being so super creepy. I've seen the Psycho, um, the Bates Motel and the house. If you take the... You know, I don't know if they still show it, actually. That was a really long time ago that I took that tour. But um, if you take the Universal Studios tour, you'll see. You'll have seen yeah. the... Yeah, the original, like, sets of the outside, yeah. anyway. Um, number two on my number list. Number two. And these are not in any particular order in my top three. Um, number two... Oh, what is it now? I've forgotten which one I was going to say. <laughs> Oh, Halloween. Uh, Halloween. Halloween, yeah. The original one with Jamie Lee Curtis. And the funny thing is, is I've seen that movie so many times that it's just absolutely not scary anymore. Well, it's it's just a classic, yeah, you know. Um, Yeah, it's a classic. And it's very, I find it funny. <laughs> The return of Michael laugh. Myers. I kind of laugh and talk all the way through it. As again, if you follow us on social media, when I was forcing Dominic to watch it with me the other night, um, you know, I just kind of commentate the whole time. <laughs> yeah, like, why is she running upstairs? Why is she doing that? This is so. That's, uh, yeah, that's that's the classic thing of like that's the trope of scary movies. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, why why are they running? Not out of the. Why did they run out of the house? Why didn't they go there? Why didn't they go this way? Why didn't they get a gun and shoot the guy? Why didn't they get a <laughs> knife and stab the guy? There's... It's like the guy's moving so slowly. You yes. know, it's like he's easily disarmed or whatever. And, and... that was another thing I was noticing actually, because I've seen, of course, I think all of the Halloween films. Yeah. Um, but in that one, he did move a little bit faster. He kind of slowed down a bit in the in the in the return in the sequels, of Michael Myers. Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, he'd been shot. I mean, that's the thing. He had like she she stuck a knick, knitting needle in his, in his neck, neck, then like bashed him on the head like several times with like an iron or something, wasn't it? No, she stabbed him. She got he dropped his knife when she stuck. Oh, and the, she stabbed him. Yeah, and then, she and st- then Donald Pleasance came in and shot him. Yeah. And then... And he falls out the window. And he falls out the window, yeah. And, and, and he's then, gone. But he's like, oh, so the shooting him. I mean, he didn't shoot him in the head, so maybe he was wearing, like, a bulletproof vest. Maybe. Did they have that in 1978? I don't know. Yeah, they must have done <laughs> I think they've had bulletproof vests since the 50s. Um, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, the hilarious thing is she stabs him. I don't know if she stabbed him several times, but she stabs him once. He falls down. Yeah. Um, and then she's just like sitting in the doorway, like oh, just panting and catching her breath and everything. And then she, she tells just the sits kids, bolt upright. Then you know she tells the kids, "Oh, get out! You know, go go scream and run to the neighbors and you know which they do." And then she just like, "Oh, I'll just sit now and rest in the doorway." One of whom I have no idea whether he's actually dead. I stabbed him once you know and so he must be dead <laughs> you know but it's just like yeah get out of the house what are you doing yeah she fool? just said yeah that, that, so that of course was... he comes and strangles her and... yeah and then that's when <laughs> that's when sam Lo- sam loomis dr loomis dr loomis yeah your, your buddy I, I think he was only in like four of them wasn't he uh i don't know he was in a few i think I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, because, I mean, there's been six or something, isn't there? Oh, God, there were there were a lot, yeah. Halloween 5, you know. There was one that was just absolutely crazy that they made in the 90s that was, like... Disregarded the everything. Curse, the curse of Michael Myers yeah. or something. It was weird, I don't know. Is that, that Michael Myers wasn't in it? I never watched. I've seen that one once, and I never yeah. watch it when it comes on. Um... The music of that, though. Yes. Just reminds me of that, Mario, wind, that level of Mario. The music the just wind, winds you up, hypes you up, and gets you yeah. ready, you know. It's like, 
the music is really what makes the whole thing scary. Yeah. If you took the music away and it was just quiet. Oh, I don't know. Maybe if it was totally quiet, it might be scary. But mm. the music really um, takes it to the next level in that in that movie for me. That's just a classic. You can't you can't you can't beat that one. You no, know? you can't. Um, and then my last one is purely nostalgic, and that's the scream. The first scream. For Neve Campbell. Yeah. Give it I, up for Neve Campbell, everybody. I like... Um, Courtney Cox was in that film, too, yeah, wasn't she? Yeah, 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 yeah. She Can't was, she was, was the reporter. She was the, she was reporting because um, Neve Campbell's mother had been killed a few years prior. And so she was a reporter and she wrote a book. She got famous off of that murder. Yeah. It was like the Hillsborough murder or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, that's that's, that's just—they make a lot of fun of the genre. Of yeah, the genre. So, but the so thing it's is, pretty, that's it's pretty. Why a, it's a clever scary movie. Mo- the scary movie franchise didn't really need to be made because it was making fun of Scream, which was making fun of the yeah whole the genre. genre anyway. Yeah, you know. Yeah, no, I I totally agree. I, it was basically just a remake of Scream. In like a stupid kind of way. I hate. I'm sorry if you're a fan of those movies, but (laughs) Um, the Scream films I thought were very clever. Yeah, and so totally did not need to be made into scary movie. Yeah, it's like what are you doing? Um, They were making fun of themselves in the from. I remember watching that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That was that that was good. Yeah. Um, The second one is probably just as good. The third one I can't really remember. Somebody was posting about Scream Three the other day, and I was just like. Oh, you know, I looked up the, oh, I know what it was. It was on Instagram. We asked you guys, um, what are your favorite scary movies? So some of you have already told us your scary movies. Actually, I'll pull it up now. And somebody said Scream, Scream 2, I think. And I think I've seen them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think I, maybe I've, I, made, I think maybe I made you watch them because I have all three of them. I mean, I've, I've, I've seen, I've seen the, uh, I seen um, the the first one back when it came out, and then that was good enough for me. I didn't need to see the second one because I was like, "What is someone going to get killed in it again?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, the second one was good because it was just it was more of the same, but they they built on it, and there was like a twist. And but the third one, when I looked it up, the um, you know, the movie poster or whatever that goes along with it, I was like. I do not remember. And I have it, but obviously maybe, maybe I didn't think it was as good as the first two because I cannot remember what happens in it. So I'm kind of thinking maybe Scream Marathon here in, you know, another day or so. (laughs) Um, But yeah, just really quickly, since I know we asked you guys at the start of this, but some of you have already told us um, your favorite movie, not your top three, but your favorite movie on Instagram. So maybe we'll just kind of flip through these really quickly yeah. with you guys. and Let's see what the people of can, Instagram you say. You can let us know what you think. Um, someone says The Legend of Hell House and The Exorcist. So, like, uh, yeah, you. Legend um, of Hell House, never seen it. I know, I've never heard of it. I mm. don't, I don't know. Um, someone says The Ring. See Matt. Yeah. Which comes out the TV. Uh, um, that, yeah. that was pretty good, yeah. It was creepy anyway. I can't really remember, like, specifics of it yeah. other than other than yeah her coming out of the tv and it was creepy um someone else says the birds which i have never seen never seen it and un- unfortunately it's a classic um everybody talks about the it birds the i've definitely seen yeah yeah you have yeah, yeah. That, that it's 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 not scary it's more just like it's like a hitch it's a hitchcock film yeah so it's just kind of like why are all these birds getting her I can't remember. I I can't remember what happens in the film, but I do remember the bits where the birds get her. Yeah. And I was just kind of like, yeah. What? Every time um, we like have to run an errand, like in the evening, and we go to Walmart or the grocery store or the some, birds get us or some big parking lot where there's a lot of trees, the birds are just going absolutely crazy. I don't know if they do that where you guys live. Like at. At they're in the trees dusk. and they're just crackling. It's like dusk, right? Crackling. They're even. screaming. They're screeching. They're they're chirping. They're going crazy. They're flying all around. You look at the trees and there's like a billion of them in one tree. Like, they're not social distancing these birds. <laughs> all you can see. Told them before. All you can you can see more birds than you can see actual leaves in the trees, which yeah. is crazy. And I always think of the birds movie, even though I've never seen it. 
Um, someone says hush. Hush, I don't know. little baby, don't you and cry. And I was thinking The Quiet Place with um, Emily Blunt and John Krasinski, which you and I did Sandra watch that. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock was in The Quiet Place, wasn't she? No, that was... Um, what was it? Bird, the bird Box. Bird Box. That that's was it. well. That was a scary film yeah, too. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. You remember that when they couldn't say anything? Couldn't say anything. They had yeah. to be quiet because these like creatures. I think it was a little bit sci-fi ish. Yeah, I mean, these yeah. creatures were after noise. They were attracted yeah. to sound, so you had and to be if like. If you really said something, uh, said something, they zoned in if on you. If you made any kind of, if donk. something dropped or yeah. donked into things, yeah. So that's what I was thinking, but that. That's not what this is. There's a guy in a really creepy mask. I don't know what. It's a guy <laughs> in a really creepy mask. That's all you need to know about about horror films. Someone says Scream 2, which I yeah. agree. Love it. Someone sent laughing faces and said, it's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown. Now, <laughs> I've heard that's violent. Shut up. <laughs> It's been, it's been, it's been, uh, no, it's been, it's been cancelled from ABC <laughs> for all its violence and gory oh, stuff. Yeah. God. But yeah, I can I can definitely relate. Yeah, it's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. It's like yeah, sometimes sometimes you don't want something scary. You just want something cute. You know, yeah. um, the haunting. Oh, I think I've seen that with too. Liam Neeson and Catherine Zeta Jones. Yes, I think I've seen that. They yeah. move into a house, don't they? I think I, I replied yeah. to this person on Instagram and said that I ha- didn't think I'd ever seen yeah. it, but I do think I've seen it. I just don't really remember much about yeah. it. Um, my dad and stepmom were really into scary movies, like particularly when I was like a teenager. So yeah. anytime I was with them, we were watching. I've, scary I vaguely movies. remember seeing this one too, and yeah. I feel like I've seen all the scary movies, um, but I don't remember them all. Obviously, uh, somebody else says Event Horizon. I've heard of that, but I don't think I've ever seen it. Lawrence Fishburne, yeah, I don't. And Sam Neill, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it looks more like the movie poster for it looks more like a sci-fi film. Yeah. The, I mean, not that that can't be scary, too. Um, The Shining. The Shining, obviously. yeah. yeah, yeah classic. Yeah. Classic. Um, Somebody else says all zombie movies don't have a particular favorite. Yeah. Zombie, zombies, yeah. The I people never love really the... got into zombies. Yeah, that, that's... Vampires, I, I can... yes. Zombies, no. <laughs> uh, not a big zombie head. Yeah, I replied mm. to that one. The the closest I've come with zombies is um, the sure. White Walkers in Game of Thrones. I guess they're they're technically didn't, didn't, zombies. I mean, Shaun of the Dead kind of makes fun of the. Genre. I never saw it. I I've saw that, but I, I I saw Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz was better. Is Hot Fuzz a scary movie? You could say that's a scary movie. I guess. I mean, I guess so. I'm a slasher <laughs> of prices. <laughs> Timothy Dalton's good in that. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think that'll that'll do us. Yeah. Let us know what you guys are doing for Halloween, if anything. If you're on lockdown or um, if you've got kids, are you going to take them trick-or-treating? Are you going to Are you just going to throw candy? candy at them? Yeah. Have you bought candy? Yeah. Have you bought candy? Because we're on a sugar pass- detox until November 1st. Yeah. So we've we got can't some candy. eat candy. We've got some candy to pass out, but I really don't expect anybody, so... We we live like we live where it's We're really expecting dark Borat. anyway. So <laughs> he'll turn up. Oh my god! Yeah, and his subsequent movie film. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We yeah. really appreciate it. Um, if you have not already, enter our giveaway. Giveaway! Because it's coming close to the uh, deadline, which yeah. is November 12th. November. It... Well, the deadline is actually November 10th. So November we'll, 10th. We'll announce the winner on November 12th. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, just, yeah, that's it. Do all the things. Yeah, and you know what that means, don't you? Adders and likers and... All that kind of stuff. (laughs) Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate your support. And we will talk to you next time. Goodbye. Bye. (laughs) That was really... It wasn't. It was very scary. You were creeped out, weren't you? Yeah, they were all...